My name is Peris Waidiramburu, a teacher by professional and a mother of a mother of two. The rabbit farm journey started last year, uh, that is in September, where I got to know about Widu through a brother in Germany who introduced me to Widu and we came up with a plan. We applied for the project and sooner we were able to start the, the project. So at first we had we had some some things that we need to lay down like the security part of it. The the place didn't have a wall. You've seen at the gate we have a perimeter wall that is part of the project. So we had to consider about the security. We had to put the wall. We had to consider something like water. So we bought this tank and so that we can conserve water for cleaning and for domestic use. And then we started the construction. I got a, a person who can do a good job with the construction and surely he did a good job where we laid down the foundation, the construction of the cages and once we were done we brought our rabbit and we started the, the, the farming. We have a guy, a border border guy who supplies, uh, who picks the hay. The rabbit mainly feed on 80% of the feed is hay. We have the pellet, so I need him like uh, twice in a month to supply the, the, the hay. And also, I have the, the guy who are employed on monthly salary, who is here throughout to take care of them. Also, and sometimes I need some, just in case I have an order for the urine to supply, I need to contact the, the, the Vijana to help and supply the urine. Coach who, visit me most of the time. He's very concerned about the progress. Any challenge you are facing, he's able even to help me with advice. Yeah, I, I remember he was the one who was like helping him plan for the, for the keeping records, the record keeping part of it. He really took me through it. He's very good, I think, with that part. Eh? The good mathematician, the, the, the importance of keeping records and he give me some samples, you can try these. The, the rabbit, the peri rabbit farming. Yeah, um, as I said earlier, I'm really working hard to, to gain the market. Especially, I'm trying to see if I can get the, the guys who are exporting the meat to the European countries because in my research, I've, I've realized that rabbit meat is very, taken or consumed in European countries. So in case I get such individuals who I can hook, I can join so that I can extend the farm because uh, it's easier now that I have the structure and I have the rabbits. So to expand the farm, it will be very easy. So my future plan is to extend, to keep on extending, and also to sensitize people about organic farming of which through my sister, we are able to test and see it is, it is legit, it's working. We are, she's farming purely organically, using the rabbit urine and the dung. And if you, you can see outside there, the farm is, is doing well. I'm so grateful. Yeah, this is, this is I think I'm lacking words to, to express that. Since it's something that is promising, I'm happy that I'm, I'm able also to, to be an employer, an employer. <laughs> yeah, to employ somebody, also giving something extra to do during my free time. Like I have, I, I, I have something to think about when I'm on holiday, I need to do more research on this, I want to improve on this. Yeah, I'm, I'm grateful because it is through them that I was able to start the business. Maybe it could have taken longer.